Hey, this is your market update for the Fenton Linden area. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you some very interesting data that will be a little bit contrary to what everybody is thinking. What's up guys, it's John Wentworth. Wentworth Real Estate Group. And as I said, this is going to be specific to Fenton and Linden. Uh, I'm gonna give you the averages of these two because these markets run pretty parallel. Um, but what's interesting is that, you know, we're all hearing about inventory and there's nothing for sale. But when you look at the number of homes that are pending, it's actually up 4% between these two zip codes. So the inventory feels limited because you know homes are selling so quickly so we're not seeing that inventory sit on the market but again the number of pending sales is actually up so it looks like in the first quarter of 2022 we're going to sell more homes than we did in 2021. so inventory is is a challenge you know if you're going to sell and making that move which is why we've put together a plan to to make sure that our sellers are not having to move twice and that they're getting extended possession when they're selling their home the other interesting thing inside of our market is the average sales price um, is up quite a bit. Linden is up almost 20%. Fenton is up uh, about 13%. So those averages have spiked up quite a bit. Um, and the price per square foot uh, on average is up about 20% when you combine Fenton and Linden. So the market looks super strong. You know, obviously it's, it's uh, early in the spring. As the snow melts, um, you know, you're going to see more inventory coming to the market, but all signs are super positive. You know, one of the things, as I said in, a, in the earlier videos, people are talking about interest rates. You know, if you, if you take February to March, uh, there's a spike um, from 3.95 to 4.3% as of today. But that's still, you know, it's only a difference of about $20 a month per every 100,000. So if you're looking to buy a home for, for 500,000, you're looking at a $100 increase in your payment. So not a huge amount, probably not enough to, to stop anybody from making a move in 2022. So if you're looking to do just that, to make a move in 2022, we would love to be the resource uh, to help you do just that. So thank you so much for checking out this video and we'll see you soon.